Hi everyone, this is Dani Palaz, and today is Fun Friday. We're gonna be doing this on Kahoot, and I am with ABA Exam Academy. Our disclaimer is ABA Exam Academy, we are a few credential providers that work together to help you ace the test. Um, these meetings are meant to have active discussions, to collaborate, ask questions, and provide helpful suggestions to better understand the BACB 4th edition task list. All viewers are responsible to verify the accuracy of the information being provided in order to successfully prepare for the BCBA exam. So, with this, we have some considerations. Um, we always refrain from using any um, BCBA test questions, any type of paid resources, specific identifiable client information, and if you are sharing any open resources, always make sure to provide proper credit to the author. All right, so references that we always get are straight from Cooper. I specifically have the second edition. I know the third edition has come out. I'm going to purchase that very soon, but the information I got was straight from there. All right, so as most of you know, we are now offering courses. Our next course is on task list G, and it is called Identifying the Problem Intensive Course. Um, that is June 10 at 8 p.m. It is a two-hour course, so it is from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the, this course includes a two-hour instruction with a BCABA and another instructor on the chat, 25 question mini mock with answered key and during the actual course we're going to give you explanations um, and then the last thing we offer with it included with this course is a supplemental study guide so we are also extending our summer savings bundle um, this will bring down your price to $19.99 instead of $24.99 we're giving an extra week for that so if you would like to um, take advantage of that, you can do that as well in the, um, tomorrow it will begin for an extra week. So if you wanna take advantage of that, you can do so. You do have to buy the six, six course intensive bundle in order to get the 1999 offer for each of the courses. All right, so is everyone ready? You can unmute your microphones. Everyone ready? Ready. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Yay. <laughs> All right. One second. Did we need a password or something for cooking? Yeah. I'm going to get to that right now. I'm admitting last minute people in. And then. All right, so I'm gonna get to that right now. Okay, we will play now. All right, so this is going to be your code. One, two, seven, zero, eight, two, seven. You should see it on the screen, but I'm saying it. One, two, seven, zero, eight, two, seven. I'm gonna wait about one minute. Three. We have six. Does anybody else need extra time or can we get started? One, two, seven, zero, eight, two, seven is the code and then you just put whatever name you want. Are you ready guys? Ready! Woohoo! Awesome. Woohoo! Ready! <laughs> Woohoo! All right. All right, ready? Let's go. 31 questions. What animal did Skinner use in his famous experiment? All right, three people got it. 
Next question. Good job, Jess, you're winning. Guys, you could unmute your microphones. This is fun, fun Friday. All of the following are AKs for alternating treatment design except. Woo -woo. All right, so with these questions, I have some hard ones, some easy ones. So with the harder ones, I did give extra time. So if you see, you're gonna see your seconds left. That way you have extra time to read, okay? Very good, guys. You guys are great. Yeah, nice job. Which of the following DR methods uses IRT? <laughs> Come on, guys. It's a hard one, but a good one. <laughs> All right. Great. Now, most of you guys got it. Wonderful. Joy, you bumped it up. Nice job. The behavior altering effect of an AO is, what is it? Awesome. Five people got it. Joy, you are rocking it. DNRA and DNRI methods involve what functional behavior? What function? Good. Nice. You guys are doing so good. Put some hard ones in here. All right, Emily, you went up. Let's see who wins. What are the five teaching methods methods in ABA? Take your time. Take your time. It's tricky. Woo, nice job wow you had to look really well for this you guys did awesome Uzma, great job moving up which of the following is another name for self-management You guys are never getting to 30 second mark. That is fantastic. You're very fluent. Great job, Joy, you moved up again. Which of the following group contingencies is known as the HERO procedure? HERO. Wonderful. Very, very nice. These guys are all back to back. Keep saying it. Mm-hmm. 
You guys should um, mute your mic. I am having a blast here. I am laughing out loud. <laughs> Mentalistic terms, guys. Look at what it says. Look at the question. I love that you guys noticed it said accept. I was trying to put that in there. Negation, very important. Good one. True or false, ABA Exam Academy's new course includes two hours of instruction, 25 question mini mock, and a supplemental study guide. True or false? True, I know. Oh. Ooh, you guys know this. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. You guys were listening when I said it. I got it. <laughs> I get it? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Next. True or false? The principles of behavior are reinforcement and punishment. True or false? <laughs> False. What's missing? I want to hear it. What's Extension. missing? Extension. Extension. Yes. The C in three term contingency stands for what? Go, go, go. You can do it. Fast, fast, fast. Awesome! Everyone got this one 100%. I'm so proud of you. Way to go, guys. Woo! What is an AKA for false positive? AKA, my favorite. Take your time. Still very good, guys. AKAs are tricky. They're hard. There's a lot of them. Carol, woohoo! Nice job. Moving up. A single instance of behavior is what is it? What is it, guys? <laughs> Very good. Response, 100%. Nice, nice. Lots of people confuse response with behavior. I don't, I mean, but they're similar, but no. You guys got it, 100%. Carol, Carol, you're doing this. Which chaining method is an AKA for concurrent chaining? <laughs> Wonderful. Total task chaining. AKAs, guys. Which of the six attitudes of science looks at cause and effect? Woo. Mm -hmm. Determinism. Most of you got it. All right, which of the seven dimensions makes sure that the behavior is socially significant? Which one? You guys are answering super fast. Take your time. Wow. 
You guys blew my mind. You guys know these dimensions. Nice, nice, nice. Carol, you're still in the lead. I want to hear you jumping. You're going to pass this. Which of the following them all requires carry, carry? Yes, good job. CMOS stands for what? What's the S stand for? Surrogate. Surrogate. Awesome. What are the two types of negative reinforcement? Two types. An escape and avoidance. Great job. Wonderful, wonderful. When is ABA Exam Academy's next course? When? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, I have to mute my mic because here I am very loud in the house. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh God, guys, it's Wednesday, June 10, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you're there. <laughs> awesome question, Demi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought I got knocked out of first place on that one. I know, man. <laughs> My winning Those mystery. are tricky ones, the tricky ones. Timeout procedure is non-exclusionary. Which one? Non-exclusionary. Non-exclusionary. It's a great question, baby. I love it. Making us think. And ignoring. All the rest are what? Exclusionary. Exclusionary, very good. All of the following can be GCSRs, except, what is GCSRs? Come on guys, think. <laughs> Good. What is a GS GCSR? What does that stand for? The generalized condition reinforcement. Very good. I want to hear different people. Widna, I thank you for talking. <laughs> oh, okay. You're welcome. You are ready, lady. You can All rock right. that exam tomorrow. That's right. Okay. Love you guys. Next question. Program integrity is another word for. What is it? Program integrity means what? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. <laughs> Fidelity implementation. Most of you guys got it. You guys are studying hard. I think the procedural integrity is one of them. Yes, yeah. it has a lot, a yes. lot of AKs. A lot. And yeah, procedure and integrity. You may put a fidelity in front of it, and it's an AKA for it. Yeah, there are a lot of them, and I tried to mix it up. The other ones don't exist. I made them up. So I tried to make it tricky, and you guys still got it. Which of the following stands for reinforcement? Which one? Woo! 100%. You guys know these. Oh, SR plus. Yep, yep, yep. Carol, you're still in the lead, girl. I do have to match my colors better because I'm missing on not matching my colors. <laughs> that happens to me, too. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Which generalization strategy changes non-critical elements in the teaching setting? Jenny, you like this question? Love it. My <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Come on, guys. You can do this one. I'm holding a pom-pom in my hand. Shooting you 
Good job. Wow. Five. Five of you got it. Loosely trained. You got a few more. Which of the following lets you know the reinforcement is not available? Not. Wow, another 100%. Guys, you guys are doing awesome. I actually gave you guys more time, and I think next time I do this, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to give you more time. You guys yeah, In Simmons equivalence, which is considered symmetry? Whoa, awesome. Very, very good. Got to look at those details. All of the following are unconditioned motivation op operations, except unconditioned, guys. Take your time. Reinforcement deprivation. You know, these are one of the one of the tricky questions that when I first started learning, I thought activity deprivation was a trick. So I understand why those two people got that one. Uh, understand 100%. Which of the following is not a verbal operant? Not. Okay. 100%. Nice job, everyone. All right, let's see how many more we have up. I think it's one or two. You guys are doing so good. Most of you guys are getting this, all of them. Where can I find an ABA Academy's products and services? Where? Products and services. Woohoo! Good job. There you go. You guys got our homepage, but if, if you want to look for our services, it's on the shop. Shop page. It's okay, guys. You guys know ABA. That's what matters. <laughs> that's what we're here for. We're going to ace that test. Last question. Will I pass the BCBA exam this time around? Yes or no? Which one? Oh, sure. Yes. I hope so. Who said that? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> you got to say, of course. Of course. Oh, sure. <laughs> Let's see who won. Joy! Woo, guys! Woo! Woo! You did it! And dun, 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 dun. Carol! Yay! You won! Woo! Hey, Carol! Yay! This you was did great. it! Say something, Carol! This was great. This was a lot of fun. You liked it? Yeah. I'm going to be doing more like of these, guys. I'd like to thank yeah. you and my dad for this <laughs> fish 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 carl say oh my god i want to thank the little people and you know <laughs> i want to thank whoever created this idea because this was great it's making me laugh on a friday night after a week long of studying so That's this is awesome. good thanks awesome congratulations guys i had a lot of fun much appreciated <laughs> I had a much, lot of much, fun making this, so I'm happy that you guys attended. Like I said, we have the next course coming up June 10. If you guys want to be there, remember, it has a lot of information. I know that you guys, are, a lot of you are testing soon. 
But if you're not, if it's not, um, if it's after June 10, take advantage, guys. And then finally, like, share, and subscribe and communicate. If you guys have any questions, feel free to stay on or email us at leaders at abexamacademy.com. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. You had a lot of fun. Thank you. Loved it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys.